Kendra and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I tie-dyed my own duvet cover. I saw this on like Urban Outfitters, uh, Where Else Free People, and I wanted to make my own duvet cover so I decided to order the supplies um, and do it myself. It ended up being cheaper and it was a lot of fun. I did the shibori technique, I think that's how you pronounce it, and I really loved how it turned out. It was pretty difficult to fold since the duvet cover was gigantic. Before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed to my channel down below for more videos like these and just to stay up to date with my channel but without further ado let's get right into this video so honestly i really think the hardest part of this diy was just folding the duvet cover luna definitely did not help with this but the duvet cover was so big um especially because we have a queen size bed so we had to get obviously that size duvet cover so i had alex help me um and basically we just folded it accordion style so you can see here we fold it over and then flip it kind of back and then fold it back and then over and just continue doing that. You probably did this in elementary school with you know little projects, um, but we just did that until we had it folded completely lengthwise. And then you do the same thing, um, this time just creating squares, folding over, folding back over, folding front, back, um, and etc. until you have a folded square. And I tried to match it up as much as possible so it could be really close to a square. So you may have to play around with the folds. And I didn't show it here, but then I put a giant rubber band around it and actually tied it twice with some twine to keep it together while I die. And for the pillowcases, I actually decided to go with a triangle pattern. So you do the same thing, folding it um, accordion style until you have a long rectangle, and then you start to fold the triangle. So you fold in one corner, and then you just fold it front and back, repeating, um, just keeping this triangle shape. It sounds difficult, but it's actually pretty easy. So I redid this a couple of times to make sure I had tight triangles. And in the end, I found that it was totally fine not to have the ends match up perfectly. It's just the overall triangle shape. And then put two rubber bands on the end. So I decided to dye the duvet cover and the pillowcases in my sink. I used hot water and then about a couple tablespoons of salt, a dash of dish soap, and then um, about a third of each bottle of dye that I have. I have a tan color and then I actually used a wine color because I didn't want it to be purely wine. I wanted to have kind of a brown undertone and I tested the color on paper towel just to see roughly how the color would be. This isn't exactly how it would turn out but I just wanted to see a rough estimate and I did put the pillowcases and the duvet cover into the sink um, all together. I, this was totally fine. It turned out well. Um, so just dunk them down and hold them until all of the air bubbles are out and then it'll sink to the bottom. This duvet cover was a big boy, so I had to press pretty hard and it took a while for it to be completely submerged, but it was actually really satisfying to watch. I let everything die for a full hour just to make sure everything was dyed super well, moving it around um, a couple of times to make sure that all of the sides and corners were covered, and then after that I took them out and rinsed it with cold water. And this duvet cover was huge. <laughs> it's definitely a big boy to rinse. Um, you want to rinse everything until the water runs clear. So it might take a while for a big duvet cover. I did another sink full of hot water and a color fixative to make sure the color would stay in the fabric and I let that sit for 20 minutes. And after that, I put everything on some old puppy pee pads that we had from Luna, um, and I let that sit overnight. It did say to let it sit until the fabric was dry, but it was taking little hours, so I just let it sit for a day, and then I decided to wash it in cold water, and I put a towel in there to catch the extra dye. And this is how it turned out. It definitely faded a little bit, but that's exactly what I wanted. I really love that the color turned out kind of a lighter pink, and I think it looks really good. All right, so that is how I tie-dyed my duvet cover and the matching pillowcases. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know down in the comments if you've been doing your own DIY projects or if you tried this one out. I am trying to find all the projects I can right now to do to keep entertained. Um, so yeah, just let me know down in the comments, and if you recreate this, make sure to tag me in Instagram. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.